When you play Sacred Gold for the first time, you can see that the game runs in a different format than the usual 19x6. This is because when the game was released, it was very rare to see resolutions greater than 1024 by 768 Currently, there are some programs that allow you to increase the resolution of Sacred. One of them is called DigiVoodoo. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and configure it. First, you will have to download it. I have left a link in the description of this video. When the download is complete, go where the program was saved. The program shouldn't contain viruses. Anyway, I will show you with my Bitdefender antivirus. Ok, so now unzip the file with any compression program like the WinRAR. Copy the content of the folder and paste it into the folder where you have the sacred installed. By default is C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common and Sacred Gold. Ok, so now we are going to open the DigiVoodoo. When you open it, the first and most important thing is to select the folder where you are going to do the configuration. In this case, I will select the Secure Gold one. If it doesn't appear to you, press the Add button and select the folder where you have the Secure Gold installed. Now, in the General tab, we will select our graphics card. If you don't have a video card, select your integrated graphics card. If not, select the all of them option. Then, you can choose between full screen mode or windowed mode. In this case, we will select full screen mode for run the game in maximum resolution. If you want to play the game in windowed mode, I recommend you to select the stretch option, since that's the one that has worked for me. If the game runs incorrectly, you can try one of the other different options. Ok, so now, since the game runs using DirectX, we will never modify the Glide tab, because that one is for games running on 3DFX Glide, and the secret runs using DirectX, so we will set up all in the DirectX tab. On the VRAN tab, select how much memory your video card has. If you don't know it, select 128MB, which is the double of recommended amount of video memory for run the game. In the tab where it says resolution, select the resolution you want to play, or the resolution your screen supports. If your game has performance issues, select off in the anti-aliasing tab. Finally, uncheck the DigiBudu watermark option, and apply the changes and click on OK. Now the game will run in a higher resolution when it's in full screen. For run the game in full screen, we will have to open the config program, which is inside the secret gold folder. The full screen option switches between full screen mode and windowed mode. The play movies option switches between watch or not the videos like the ones that appears when you start the game, or cinematics within the game. The 32 bit option switches between 16 bit or 32 bit depth color. The anti-aliasing filter is used to smooth or not the edges of the textures. And finally, video compatibility mode is an option added by creators to increase video card compatibility with the sacred. This configuration is the one I used during my 200 hours of gameplay, and it's the one I recommend you since I have obtained very few crashes, and also my game runs at very good performance. Ok, so two last things. In the secret folder, open settings file with a text editor. At the bottom, create a new line and add the following parameter. This will disable vertical synchronization, giving a significant performance boost to your game. Save the file and do the same with Steam settings. And the last thing, find your sacred executable, right click on it and go to properties. On the compatibility tab, check compatibility mode and select Windows XP Service Pack 2. Also, check run the program as administrator, only if you have permissions to do it. 
click apply then ok and you can run the game now ok so this is my game running on full screen 1920 by 1080 as you can see the difference is quite significant also in the game you can see the frames per second by pressing ctrl and f the first ones are the actual frames per second and the second ones are your position in coordinates on the other hand in the options menu you can change the graphic quality disable the anti-aliasing filter by unchecking it and reduce the sound quality of the game to increase the performance of the game with all of these steps the game should run in a perfect way Anyways, if you have any problem, let me know in the comment section. And that's all, thanks for watching and I hope that this video will help you.